Hey guys, what's going on? Ultimus here. Wanted to bring you guys another video today. It's been a while since I've done something like this, but um, given the start of the new PvP season and all the different ways to cap conquest points, gear alts, and mains, I figured that would be a good time to bring another one of these videos to you guys. So, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is going through explaining to you all the different ways that you can acquire conquest points on any of your characters and uh, with some footage from each of those various um, PvP scenarios for you. Starting off, um, quite possibly one of the most effective uh, ways you can gear your tunes is an Ashran. Now, if you've been playing a while, you might scoff at the word effective because it is completely contingent upon how good your group is. And I've been in some bad ones, I've been in some good ones. But all in all, really, if you consider just the way it goes, uh, you can fully cap your character in Ashran. Because when you go into Ashran now, you get conquest points for completing events, you get conquest points for killing Vol. And what I mean by that is. There's a weekly quest, there's actually a couple weekly quests. Um, once you enter into Ashran, you get the weekly quest that you um, complete four events, and then you get a Warlord kill, depending on which side faction you are, say Volk, because I'm usually playing Alliance, but I understand there's Horde viewers as well. And so what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna, of course, get your group together, and you're gonna win four events and kill Vol, and then at the end, you get your Conquest, as well as a Lockbox, which will contain an Epic, um, and this is of course how you get all of your offset pieces. This is the only way to get your offset pieces. As sucky as it is, there it is. Um, so this is why I say Ashran is a good thing to do if you can stomach it. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure you can continue farming those conquest points even after you complete the weekly quest. So it can be a very effective way to gear alts. Now, Ashron keys have been very up and down lately. I've been in some where I've waited 45 minutes, and I've been in others where I've waited as short as 8 minutes. So, it's all about the time you queue, and I found that Alliance does tend to do better in the morning into early afternoon hours, and I am basing this off of Pacific Standard Time. So, wherever you guys are at in the world and how that works out, um, you might want to gauge that. But that's just been my experience with it. And the later end of the day, it gets closer to midnight. The worse the Alliance does, the smaller the groups are, the Horde just farms. So there's that. So make sure you're wanting to get in, get those groups done. And it is worth it to stick with your Asheran group because a lot of times what ends up happening is uh, you may be losing at first. And I've been in quite a few groups that it has turned around and we've ended up pulling quite a few victories off. So uh, cue Asheran. As long as you can stand it, stomach it, you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, next, of course, is the basic streamline 2v2 arenas. Find a friend, find a guildie, find some random dude in the looking for group finder, find someone in trade, I don't care, pay your grandmother to play WoW with you. Um, as imbalanced as twos is, if you get a good comp and if you get a good synergy going, you can uh, effectively farm your conquest points for the week up to 1500 for you if you have just the standard cap plus the 200 conquest from Ashran. Con um, twos can be a lot of fun. If you've got the right mindset, if you've got a good friend to queue with and just have a good time. Um, it can also be very frustrating, as I'm sure you're aware, so yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. If you enjoy 2v2 arenas, it's definitely the most imbalanced form of PvP at the moment, but it's a good way to practice and kind of break anybody that you have uh, that may be new to PvP into the concept of arenas. And so, um, you know, I, I still enjoy them. They can be goofy, they can be silly. I've gotten some pretty good clips from doing 2v2 arenas, but... With 180 conquest points a win per usual, um, you know, as long as you get a good team, you can you can go pretty far, especially with a healer. Um, of course, then of course there is still 3v3 arenas if if you're into that, um, which gets a little more competitive. But you can cap conquest points with that as well, still getting 180 points per win. And of course with that, if you're winning a lot and you're building up that rating then you're putting yourself in a better position to push rating again towards the end of the season get your elite sets all that stuff so whatever your cup of tea is 2v2 3v3 and even 5 versus 5 you can do that as well and you will earn conquest from that still per usual nothing has changed there another way to earn conquest for the season and almost the bigger reason you want to queue these, um, we are talking about RBGs, is for the same reason you want to queue Ashran. Not so much for the conquest points, unless you really enjoy RBGs, then again, by all means, go for it. Um, 
but is if you win three, and it is a weekly quest, so if you win your three RBGs for the week, you get a box that is guaranteed to contain an epic as well, just like Ashran, and it is the only way you can obtain your um, offset pieces. So I guess I shouldn't say Ashran and uh, RBGs are the only way. Those are the only two ways, Ashran and, R and RBGs. I should clarify that to be very, very specific. Um, those are the ways you're going to want to queue, and again, it... It's a bummer that that is the only way to obtain our offset pieces. Like I, at the end of our uh, three RBGs for the week here for me, I ended up snagging my best in slot legs. I was very very lucky, um, but that is the only way to, to buy them. You can't you can't purchase them with conquest points anymore. They are, they did confirm that they're going to be putting in lock boxes that you can purchase for trinkets, or sorry, you can purchase these lock boxes for. Uh, conquest, but it's the same principle. You're not guaranteed what you want, so it's really not fixing the problem. Um, so RBGs, looking for group finder guilds, however you want to do it. Just be honest, be straightforward, and you can usually find a group. And you might have to find a new group for every RBG, but again, that's just part of putting in games and doing the grind. But that's another way you can get conquest and gear. And again. RBGs and Ashra, and you definitely want to make sure you're doing so you can get those um, offset pieces. And last but not least, what I want to talk about, which I just discovered this today, which is what actually inspired me to make this video. It's a big deal. Um, there is now the sk PvP skirmish uh, quest that will pop up as a holiday weekend. If you check your calendars, it's going on now through Tuesday, I think, upon next reset. And if you win 10 skirmishes, you actually get 500 conquest. Crazy. Here's the craziest part. It doesn't stop with your cap. Make sure you're capped on your tune first, then take the quest, go in, do your skirmishes, whether it's threes, twos, fives, doesn't matter. And you actually earn conquest points on top of your cap. I don't know if this is intended, I don't know if this is a bug, but there it is. So if you are interested in that, I definitely suggest you guys hop on that before it tends to be hot fixed. And um, I, I just... I mean, if I can get 500 more Conquest points for the season, I'm going to go for it. It does not increase your maximum season earned, but you get to keep the points. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it made sense. If something didn't make sense, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. I'd love to clear it up for you and make sure you get your questions answered so you too can get uh, the most bang for your buck or most Conquest for your time, I suppose, out of this season's PvP. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.